The National Atomic Testing Museum held a breakfast and panel discussion today to commemorate the 60th anniversary of the Sedan nuclear test. Jeremy J. Ford spoke with visitors and panelists about their, their experiences, and he joins us live in the newsroom tonight with the latest. Jeremy. Well, thanks, Sasha. Just 65 miles northwest of Las Vegas is the home of a former nuclear weapons testing site. Visitors showed up to the Atomic Testing Museum to learn more about what happened there 60 years ago. On July the 6th, 1962, the United States conducted the Sedan nuclear test. The goal of the explosion was to determine how practical nuclear detonations are for excavating large amounts of earth. It was part of a program called Project Plowshare, where they were looking for peaceful uses of nuclear weapons. And Plowshare was going to be seen if it could be used for digging out harbors or another Pan Panama Canal, if you will. But due to post-radiation in the atmosphere, eventually all testing projects were scrapped, leaving a large crater in the desert and a useful learning experience. This was a complete success, but the United States was still going on with its developmental program for nuclear weapons to assure the safety and reliability of the nuclear weapons if we had to use them. This month marks the 60-year anniversary of the formation of the crater. On Saturday, the National Atomic Testing Museum hosted a roundtable discussion. Guests were invited to learn more about one of the most iconic blasts in atomic testing history and the largest man-made crater in the United States that formed as a result. I think the atomic bombs are cool. Yeah, I learned some stuff like they had to like stay away from it if they didn't want to get radiation on them. Well, back in 1994, the Sedan Crater was officially added to the National Register of Historic Places. And today, you can tour the site. We have a link to the register on our website, 8newsnow.com. From the newsroom, Jeremy J. Ford, live, local now.